Hey everyone, how's it going? Safira here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So today I'm drawing Lauren from Angel. Um, this is actually a commission for a friend of mine. She, I originally did it the first time and I was doing it with straight pencil crayon or colored pencil, <laughs> whatever way. And unfortunately, it ended up getting ruined, so I lost the will to do it, and then I decided not to do it again for a while. And then finally, I decided to do it again. This is probably like three months later. And instead of doing it in strictly pencil crayon, I decided to do it in Copic markers. So right now, I'm just laying in all my base, my base colors to get a feel for how dark I need to go. So I started with the yellow because um, it was just clothing. Who cares about clothing? The, the um, material looking, what am I trying to say? The, the look of it doesn't really matter. Like it's material. So yeah, anyways. And then I went in with the black and then um, <clears throat> a little bit of the red and then a with the black, I went in with the black right away so that that is the darkest value. You can actually build up from something that's really dark. Something that I've had a problem in the past is creating my drawings but making them way too light where there's not enough contrast in the drawing. So what I like to do is I like to try and put in my black value before I start layer layering in my other values. Because then I know how dark I need to go or how light I need to go. Um, so I'm just working on his face here. I'm actually doing this with Copic markers and pencil crayon. Um, something nice with Copic markers is if you lay down pencil crayon, at least with my pencil crayons, they're Prismacolor. So when you lay over um, the marker on top of the Prismacolor, it kind of blends it in because of the alcohol. If you were to have say um, you were strictly doing a pencil drawing and you were doing a pencil crayon drawing but the texture was was pretty grainy and you weren't getting a smooth look as smooth as you would want what you could do is you could go out and buy a colorless Copic marker and you can use that over top of your pencils to help smooth out the texture so then you get a smoother gradient instead of something being really textured. So something nice about the Copics, and whoa, I just zoomed in a lot. <laughs> um, unfortunately, zooming in makes it look kind of blurry, which sucks. So this was kind of an experiment with this video, with the whole zooming in and out. So I don't think I'll do this again. I'll just keep it where it is or if I do zoom in I'll actually move the camera itself I won't do the functionality of the zoom like using the digital I'll just manually do it if that makes sense moving the camera closer to the paper instead of d doing it via settings anyways um oh shoot <laughs> what was I just talking about before I went on to this rant because the thing moved um colorless blender on top of Prismacolor markers and it'll smooth out the texture. Yeah, so. Oh dear, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, so I'm kind of trying this is kind of like the first time I've done that. I don't really have any drawings where it's pencil crayons and Copic markers or I'm too afraid to put pencil crayon on top of my Copic markers because sometimes it can create a texture. But the thing about this drawing is that I wanted the texture because there was texture in the original photo that I had. So it helped create the depth in the drawing that I really wanted. And I really love how this drawing turned out. I'm quite proud of it. It took me quite a long time. You're getting 16 minute view when I think it took me at least 10 hours to do. <laughs> um, so if not longer. I don't know offhand. I'd have to look at the original video. So yeah just slowly building up my layers with Copic marker and pencil crayon. Um, so now that I've done talking about the drawing, I think for the most part, um, I'll tell you what's been going on with me. 
So I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. I've been very busy. Um, it's amazing how fast time flies when um, stuff is going on in your life <laughs> um, and being very, very busy. Um, so the last time I uploaded a video was probably in June. So I didn't upload any videos in July. Um, work was really busy. It's been just a nut show at work. I'll leave it at that. Um, we have people coming and going. We have management coming and going mainly. And so there's, it's, everything's getting juggled around. So it can be a little bit difficult at times um, to try and get anything done because your plate's so full. But I'll leave it at that. <clears throat> and then at the beginning of July, um, I had a family member pass away. So I've never experienced someone close to me pass away. So this was very um, hard for me. So um, I'll leave it at that as well. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but so my thought process for any artwork went out the door. I didn't want to touch any artwork because, yeah. Um, so this drawing was actually done in June. And then to edit the video, it took me quite a long time because with pencil crayon, I'm quite meticulous with what I do. And with the Copic markers, it can take quite a long time as well. And I was trying to be very, very detailed with this drawing. Like Copic markers, you can go pretty fast because you put the color down and it's there. But with pencil crayon, you can build layers. Same with Copic markers, but the Copic marker is you put a line down and it's there. Whereas pencil crayon, you can push really hard and get it really darker, um, hold it really lightly over the paper and make it really light, that type of thing. So anyways, I digress. Um, anyway, so a family member passed away at the beginning of the month. And like I said, I've never had anybody in my family pass away. So this was a first for me. So just dealing with it and coping with it was something I've never had to do before. So yeah, anyways, and then work got really, really busy because I also ended up going on vacation at the end of the month. Um, <clears throat> I ended up going on a three-week vacation. I went to Victoria for a week, spent some time with my sister uh, who lives in Victoria uh, my aunt and my s another sister of mine, we went down to go visit and tour around Victoria. It is so, so beautiful there. It is gorgeous. Like, it is so amazing. I just can't get over the vibrancy of the colors and how beautiful all the flowers are. It was just gorgeous. And it was so nice and warm. It was beautiful. So it was a really nice vacation to get away from all, all the work and drama and get away from life to be somewhere else and feel like you have no attachments in that moment or in that week so then stay there for a week and then um picked my mom up from uh where she lives on the way back and then we brought her back here to my place well not my place but my sister's place back home and so she stayed for two weeks and in the meantime um, because I had three weeks off, I had one week off in Victoria, and then I had two weeks off in, well, just a staycation, so stay at home. Um, I ended up helping, well, I ended up getting a good chunk of my basement completed um, because it's not developed, or the basement's not, yeah, not developed. I'm like, not renoed, renovated, that's not the word I want, because there's nothing down there, so... Um, creating a fourth bedroom and um, kind of like a third living area because th I have three living rooms now with the basement being done. So um, creating a third living room and um, so getting that done, taping or putting drywall up, doing electrical, taping um, and uh, mudding and then sanding. So uh, talk about a vacation that's not a vacation <laughs> but it's good um so then I was busy for those two weeks um dilly dallying in the basement and then recently I went back to work on Monday and no no sorry Sunday this past Sunday and then um Monday Tuesday so today's Tuesday and holy 
holy, holy cow. <laughs> work is ridiculous. Like, the changes that are going on right now and just work is crazy. I just wish it would stop being so crazy. Like, stop, stop it right now. Just stop mixing the pot up all the time. <laughs> so... Um, and things stop exploding and breaking, and so I can't fix you, and I gotta, we gotta call people in to fix it, so. <sighs> yeah, so that's pretty been my, that pr pretty been, so that's pretty much been my life in the past month and a half, to two months to a month, whatever. Um, yeah. This video is going a lot longer than I thought, and I figured I would have lots to talk about. Um, what else can I say? Um, I guess I could talk about Patreon. So, I do have a Patreon account created, and at the end of this video there will be a link um, on my new, brand new um, end slate. I've added something new to the end. Um, but eventually I would like to invest in some proper um, video editing because um, Windows me uh, Media? No. Windows Movie Maker, I think, is not very good. And I want to be able to input a random video clip in all of a sudden like, hey, check this out. Or just, just to have like, maybe put my face in the corner and do real-time audio and you can actually watch me talking. But unfortunately, Windows Movie Maker, you can't put that in there. It is it is what it is. So, super lame. But, oh well. Um, anyways, I have a Patreon. So, it's Sofira. S-O-F-E-R-A. So, you can go, guys can go check it out. Um, it will be in the end. So, I'll, there'll be a link on the, on the screen you can click. Go check it out. Um... So now that I'm actually home and getting in a routine and having a work routine again, I can now start to schedule my life a little bit better so then I can sit down, be like, okay, hey, I'm going to draw for two hours before I go to bed and then draw for two hours. So then I can become in, a, in an art routine and start uploading more videos more frequently because that's my goal is to for sure at least upload a video once every two weeks as I do more art, hopefully it'll be every week, but um, that's kind of dependent on Patreon, and I'm grateful and thankful to anyone that supports me on there. Um, you get a little bit of extra content, um, an extra video if you um, are at that dollar level um, with commentary, and then as well as um, I was going to try and do real-time videos but with this drawing, the video is so big and, well, the video is so long that my computer cannot upload it. Like, it can't render it. It's like, you do not have enough file space. And it's like, what? I do too. I just cleaned out my two terabyte, or my one terabyte um, drive. It should have enough space, but apparently not. So, depending... I may and may not be able to do a real-time because I think it'd be kind of neat to see a real-time video of what I'm doing because I don't have any like that. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's just a matter of kind of figuring out or trying to find a shorter video that didn't take me so long to do to upload as a real-time. But this one took me forever so because of the, all the detail and stuff. But I guess we'll figure it out in the future. But... Uh, as per the drawing right now, I'm actually doing the background. And I don't ever do backgrounds. So this was very rare for me. And I put little pieces along the edges, as you could see there, um, just so that I can make it square. <laughs> and it actually worked really well. So, And then my favorite part is always putting the white stuff on. <laughs> no, but really, putting the white stuff on the drawing, it makes it really pop and it makes it 3D. So I'm using pencil crayon, a little bit of jelly 
my jelly pen, but it didn't really work out so well, so I decided to use acrylic paint anyways to um, give it some highlights. And with acrylic paint, it makes it shine real good. So, all right, well, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching my video and listening to me chat and talk about what's going on with me. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe uh, for more videos, um, as well as give me a thumbs up, share me around, let your friends know, and um, just doing a close-up now so you guys can take a look at it, see kind of the detail. But I really like this drawing. I think it turned out really well, and I think I'm going to make some prints of it. I just have to zip on over to the uh, store to get it scanned in properly because it won't fit on my scanner. And then maybe I'll get some prints made. So there's the full drawing. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. For those who are in, would like to support me on Patreon, oh, and here's a picture of it. <laughs> if you'd like to support me on Patreon, um, you can support as little as $2 a month, and it's monthly. So go ahead and click on my links, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.